Hi everybody, welcome to the Actors Academy and thank you for tuning in today. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to become an actor in 2022. So, is there a difference from 2022 to 2021 and 2020 and 2019? Yeah, there is. The last two years has been very crazy as we all know, which means we have not been in person a lot as we used to be back in 2019. Things have changed, which means self-tape auditions, recording yourself, having a camera on you, your own camera, whether it be your phone or professional camera you having a lighting setup that you eventually built up and having a microphone for yourself are things that have become very useful for a lot of actors because you have been having to go and record yourself and self-submit for a lot of projects for yourself and that's what makes 2022 a very interesting year now we don't know what will happen as the months go by maybe we're gonna get back in person and have a lot of in-person auditions but whether or not we do have a lot of in-person auditions start to continue back again maybe how we had back in 2019 the self tapes having a camera recording yourself that is not going away. That is what's going to be staying for quite a long time because it's very easy and it's very efficient. You got to be thinking about this also from a casting director's perspective. They are the people who are going to be looking at your tapes and deciding should this person be in the movie or should they not be in the movie. And their job is to go and look at a lot of actors. Now if they have to go and rent out an office space, have to go and sit in a room and spend time with every single actor who walks in, that takes up a lot of their time. To have the most efficient process possible for them is to just have people record themselves and then they can go and look at a tape and they can instantly see when the person comes on the energy that they have the look that they bring whatever it is that they're looking for they can instantly go and say oh no not this person no not this person oh maybe this guy's the right one let me watch him for a little bit and decide and it's a lot easier and it's more efficient for them so to think that the self-tape auditions are going to start going away they're not so one of the best things that you can do for yourself as an actor is to get your self-tapes to come out very good and very strong because what you can do is yes you can have your phone you can put it up and you can record yourself this is what a lot of actors do for themselves but this is not the only way that you can go and record yourself tapes you can use your phone or you can go and invest in maybe a professional camera for yourself a professional lighting setup for yourself a professional microphone now maybe you can't do this in the first month maybe not even in the first year maybe you're not making much money right now maybe you don't have the money maybe you're building it up and you're saving to invest that is fine but invest in a good camera at some point in time for yourself invest in good lighting for yourself invest in a good microphone because these are things that you can have and you can have them for a long time same with lighting, same with microphones. So one of the best things that you can start doing for yourself in 2022 is start to build a good setup for yourself. Really get used to how you go and record yourself and get used to knowing where you put your camera, where you put your microphone, where you put the lightings. You're just really getting used to this whole thing of self-taping your auditions. The other thing for becoming an actor in 2022 is you're going to want to make sure that your acting skills are good and up to par, meaning you are practicing on your acting. You are working on your acting. You're not just somebody who says, hey, I want to go and be an actor. You're somebody who says, yes, I want to be an actor. And these are the steps I'm taking. This is what I'm doing to improve. You have to really know as an actor, what are you wanting? And you have to know what are the steps I'm going to go and take to get there. Improving on your acting craft and your ability is very important. You're also at some point wanting to go and get good headshots for yourself. Headshots is a picture of you that you will be going and sending off to agents and managers to see if they can represent you. Or maybe you're going to go and do some self submissions for yourself and you're going to be using a platform like backstage or actors access or whatever platform you're going to use. So you have to have a headshot at your disposal so it can be sent off ultimately in the end to the casting director whether or not you're doing that yourself or your representation is going to be doing that for you now if you want to know how you can go and get an agent and what you can do for that go ahead and click this link right up here and it'll take you to my playlist on how to go and get an agent and all the information that i have for you guys all in there in terms of your acting there are a lot of different ways that you can go and improve on your acting skills this channel here gives you guys a lot of information on what you can do to work on your acting if you want to go and take it really to the next level our 10 hour acting master class newly enhanced 2.0 version has a lot of information for you guys in there. If you guys just want a quick video, but an easy one to go and start implementing for yourself, go and click this link right up here. It's our cookbook method for acting. It's an approach that you guys can take to go and practice and really work on your craft to improve as an actor. So up today, you're at, let's say, a level two for your acting abilities. Let's see if in the next few months, we can build you up to a level four, level five, six, seven, eight, nine, and see if we can get you up a little bit more. It's an exercise, some stuff that you can do and implement into your own work easily. You can start it today. The last thing that I'm going to say for you guys is to all work on your 
your confidence. Confidence in this industry is a huge thing because not only are you gonna have to be confident in your own work, in your own craft, you're gonna have to be confident in going and interacting and talking with people. If you start making it to the next step, let's say you go and send in your self-tape auditions, casting directors love you, you get a call back and you're gonna meet with the casting directors, the directors, maybe the producers. You're gonna have to be able to go and interact and talk with them and let them see that, hey, you're a confident person. You're not gonna be shy or scared when you get on the set. You have to work on really building your confidence and your people skills. This is something that's really important. If you guys can start working on this today in this new year and start building your confidence for this whole year, you're gonna be a completely different person towards the end. This is something that I wish so many more actors spent more time on because a lot of actors get nervous when they get into that audition room or they're in the waiting room and you can see they're kind of fidgeting and they're nervous and they're scared and that's the energy they bring into the audition room. So even if they're a great actor in their bedroom and they've been working on their scenes so much and it's great at home, but they can't bring the work forward into the room, that doesn't help you at all. So confidence is very key and important for an actor. There's a lot of different ways you can go and work on your confidence. I've talked about it on this channel before. There's a lot of other people who talk about how to grow and build your confidence, but it's something that you really have to work on and it's something that you really have to develop for yourself as an actor because in this industry, there's gonna be a lot of rejection that is also involved and you have to realize that you have to be able to go and take that rejection, accept the rejection and realize that it's just part of the game. Another important video for you guys to see is this one right up here. If you guys have not seen this video, go and watch it. It's gonna be really helpful for all of you. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you all subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with everything. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you guys. Also, I'll be leaving our 10 hour acting masterclass for newly enhanced 2.0 version down in the description down below and also in the comment section if you guys are interested in that as well as our 10 acting resume templates. Alrighty, see y'all next time. Bye-bye.